Okay, let's start from the main intro screen and show you some of the settings options. On the right side you have the option to change the user profile. Select a user picture. These are the same settings you have when you just install the software. Also the functional threshold power is here. This can be automatically set by using the fitness test via the extra menu, which will be explained later in this video. Selecting avatar, you can change the rider's appearance which is used in the section virtual reality. You can also change jerseys. Select trainings. The options for creating is explained in the workout, films, GPS or virtual reality videos. We will highlight the other options. Select multi-session option. A multi-session you can cut and paste a video or catalyst so you can make interval trainings. You can cut and paste in a video and then put the front to the back for example. This can only be done in the same video. Info boxes are text fields that can be added to video or to Catalyst trainings. In Catalyst trainings it can be handy to add gear settings during a specific training section. This can also be done in video. We will show you a demonstration how you can add it. Ok, fill in the name or title of the pop-up, then you can add the comment. When we start the playlist you can see that the pop-up has been added. Let's go to the section Import and Export. It is possible to export your score file to Strava, Facebook or Training Peaks. In Export Activity, that is your workout, you can do the manual export settings. This can also be done automatic, which will be explained later. Export Fitness is related to your FTP value or your functional threshold power. These trainings are in the section Extra. In Extra you will find the Analyzer. The Analyzer section will be explained in a separate topic. The fitness tests are tests related to your FTP value or functional threshold power. Simple to say it will measure your output that you will do in one hour. This value is stored in your user settings, it can also be changed here. There's a short test and a longer test. With the video simulation you can run a video at 30 k an hour. It is easy if you want to check out a video or use it as a demonstration in the shop or Alva area. Ok, 
Okay, let's go to the setup instructions. Device manager will set up your devices or add new ones or remove them. Also see the video installing your software where this is explained. Green ticks means all devices are connected. With a user profile, you can change all settings for your user. With the social media option, you can set up your channels and update your workouts to the social media networks. Let's go back to the settings option. This one is the most interesting option. All settings can be changed from this point. Check map settings for turning on street view. Remember that you need a license to use this. The video settings will help you when there is a problem on the video playback or your films. Select video player 1 when you experience lag or other issues. The virtual reality options are very specific options. Change them when you experience lag or crashes on virtual reality. If we select backup and restore, we will backup all our score files, so you have a backup when the PC crashes, or when you're changing to a different PC. You can use the browse buttons to do this. On the online help, it will give you the information and the instructions of the software. The license info will show you which films are activated, and you can register which films you have. There's also a separate video how to activate licenses and how to deactivate.